Well, good afternoon, everybody. Today on the Yaesu FTDX 101 MP series on this radio, we're going to be talking about the split feature, the waterfall, and the 3D scope, and the different functions of the scope. So we'll just get right on to it here. Okay, this is say there's a big DX station right here, and I he's operating five kilohertz up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the split and hold it in. Okay, it went to fourteen one sixty. Say like he's on fourteen one sixty five. Okay, say like he's on one seventy. 175, 180, 185, 190. Say like he's on 200. I'm going to receive right here. Goes back into heat so he can mate with her. Uh, that's with the black bear. So uh, I'll key up my mic and I'll call for him on the 14 200. And, uh, you know, I'll try to, try to get him to the pileup. That's the split feature. And what I like about this, uh, I'm transmitting on the sub band. I can trans, I can receive on the sub band and transmit on the main band. But the way I got it set up right now, and then really I've not done this, and this is factory specs is it uh, receives on the main band and transmits on the sub band. So that's fine. That's uh, that's really good. It's easy for me because I don't use dual receive much. Here's the dual receive. And here's the main receive. 600 pounds. You know, the smaller ones are 300. Okay, now we're going to get out of the split. Hang on to see it. Let me turn it off. Okay, now it's uh. Where there's bears, I can smell them. They got this stink, and uh, once you smell it the, for the first time, it's now it's in stereo. Uh, where we used to. It's come now the main speaker on top of the radio, and it's come now to the speaker over here on the power supply. Now we're going to talk about the scope. Here is two D on the waterfowl. Okay, here's 3D, which it's okay, but I'm just, I don't know. I just can't get used to 3D. And uh, let me go, uh, hang on, just say it here. Right there, it's showing the sub band in the main band. Let me go over here. Now I got 3D on both bands. And I got, say like I want to go to the sub band. And I want to put, uh, okay. From Wolf, and Eddie. Which there's nothing on 10 meters right now. You can see the scopes are dead on the right side. Let me, uh, Go over here now. They, it's dead. Well, there's something right there. Let me. There's another setting. Go back to the sub band. I can I can figure out how you manage to do all the programming for all the different machines and the different little codes and things. But I prefer two D, which you can. Uh, hey, now, 
I really ain't a big fan of that. The scope's bigger, but the meter's shrunk. I like the meters like this better. Plus, you got this function here. And you can see there's nothing turned on over here. This is uh, the DS, uh, the noise reduction. Nothing's turned on. Which most of the time I just use this scope. The sp outboard speaker's a lot better to listen to than the internal speaker. So, which one did you play? Which is not a bad speaker, but I like this in here better. Oh, okay. well, so far it works. Hey, good. You see, you with it? I can heat up in two, two minutes. about the mouse you can uh, go all the way up here you can adjust stuff up here I just like the sound of the outboard speaker. Like if I want to adjust my AGC, I got all kinds of selections. Between the dipole and the Yagi? Yes, sir. That's going to be tremendous. Well, you know, the only thing I got turned on over here, besides the break in, is right there. And this, that's to turn the power up now. Because we have strong signals, but you're going to see a lot of weak guys disappear completely. No, the VC tube, no notch, no nothing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Nothing else is turned on on the main band or sub band. And I tell you, this is really an awesome radio. They've come down on price. After I bought the M-1 reference disc, mic, I had the... Five, over five grand, 5300 and something dollars. That's a lot of money for a radio, but, they, but they're the best. They're number one on Sherwood. And I tell you, I've had this for two years back in December, and I love it. And then I got the... What really made the difference with this radio is on, I believe it's February, it might have been March, it might have been April of last year. They had a worldwide DX contest on 40 meters. And I had the 7610 and this radio here. The 7610 just cut and handle all the QRM and all the splatter. This one here, it sung like a sailor. 
and uh, there's people a KC up and a KC down, and I could pull out weak signals S5 down to S5 with uh, you know by turning on the contour, the notch, the width, the shift, adjusting all the different filters, and I don't even have the 1.2 sideband filters on this rail. It's just got the I'll show you here. You know, see it. Some of them is for CW. There's 3K and then your 12K for AM and FM. And you got some that's for CW right there. But I'm going over 10 minutes almost 11. I'm going to say 73s. And uh, hey, if you got something you want to see on the 101 MP, just leave a comment, and I'll try to make a video on it. This is uh, the Yaesu FT-DX101MP series, and this is Radioactive KE4BSG. Guess what? I'm out of here.